All right, today we're gonna learn how to paint this galaxy. All right, the question of the day is, what is expressionism? All right, let's run through the colors. Titanium white, Mars black, Quinn red, pearly red, primary yellow, Indian yellow, phthalo green, Quinn blue, ultramarine blue. Get the party started. All right, today we're gonna learn how to paint a galaxy. Uh, no pressure for my wife's birthday. <laughs> so it better be good. <laughs> we kind of laid in a really bold galaxy right away um, not sure if that's the best approach but I kind of want to get quickly into it um, what we're done in this layer was we kind of did a purple to a reddish purple to a pure blue to light blue to a, a lime green to like a pure yellow so we'll work on those colors see how that kind of comes together we're gonna have to kind of start making these swirls a little less obvious um, they do should be tighter in the center um, but we'll see how that works out once we add the next layer. All right, we just laid this space this in and now we're gonna add the white streaks to kind of make that pop. All right, for this painting, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in the overlays of the color on top of the white, and then we'll see where we go as far as the next layer is probably add more color. For this layer, what we're gonna do is um, maybe darken in this ring here, hopefully break this through so the spiral makes a little more sense. It kinda doesn't make sense right now with some of these blends here, so I gotta break that up. Um, we wanna get to more realistic colors. I think this blue is a really nice dark blue, so we wanna kinda get those darker in here and make that a little bit more real. Um, we got kind of this white in here. We're gonna cover that in this layer and then come back to it in the next layer.
brighten up the center again. We did the snow trails again, so they kind of make that star um, obviously how they're spiraling in. And they would circle around the galaxy because there would be obviously a black hole in the middle, which you're not going to see. Um, you're going to have this really nice spiral here going. I've added some black spots in there to give it a darkness of space that kind of is going to be popping through in different areas. Um, I'm not sure if it's done yet. Um, I might stop here. I mean, I know this doesn't really connect well, so that's kind of done badly, but whatever. <laughs> I'll live with it. Um, I have like, this is, this is really nice here in this area. So we'll see, I'm gonna let it dry and then see if I want to do another go at it. So expressionism is um, an art form that was based on expressing extreme emotion. Um, a really good example of this is Edward Monk with the scream where they're like, ah! <laughs> so it kind of came out from, you know, the neo-impressionalism work of Vincent van Gogh, and then it kind of went to more extremes. Also overlays other art forms like Fauvism, Cubism, Futurism, so a lot of different overlaps there. You know, Paul Clay was one of these. Another movement within it was the Blue Rider group and also the Brücke in Germany. Now, one of the consequences of when 1930s, when Hitler came to power was that was seen as degenerate art form and then was kind of suppressed under Germany and then later as Germany conquered the rest of Europe, the rest of Europe. So basically Hitler kind of squashed the expressionist school, so to say. Um, and then later there was another kind of rebound in the 1970s called neo-expressionalism, um, which was obviously a reference to the original expressionism of the 20s, 30s, and that's the question of the day. All right, we just finished the painting. Let's take a closer look. So we have this really nice, brilliant red, greens there, kind of a turquoise on top. We gotta go into orange. We have this lime green kind of forming with the light blue sky going into the center. And again, at the ends, it fades into the red, into the deep blue purple. Uh, I was considering doing another layer to kind of correct the spiral so it made a little more sense. Um, I probably should. I'll probably get in trouble with my wife for not doing that, but um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, uh, yeah, it's kind of like one of those paintings where you're not really sure about. Um, I think people like galaxies will still like it. Um, I myself am not really taken per se. Um, I do like some parts of it. Um, not sure where I go after this. I mean, I could add some more blue sky in there again with, you know, and then coat it later and then put the white on top and hopefully fix that. Not sure if that's what I really need to do there. Uh, overall, I think it's pretty good. Um, hopefully my wife likes it. <laughs> so I end up divorced. You know why? <laughs> it's this painting. <laughs> if you guys like it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe below. And I'll see you in the next painting video. Thanks for watching, guys.